Welcome back guys, welcome back to Night of the Raven, and as I said in the previous chapter, uh, chapter, sorry, episode, I wanna um, clear this cave, so, spoiler alert, there are a lot of undead in this cave, and I'm gonna try to handle them as fast as I can with the sword before they, come on, give me a, give me a couple of crits, please. Thank you. That's really all I needed. Cool. Cool. Anybody else? Cool. So, sometimes, this is why I love magic in Gothic. A fight that would have otherwise been very difficult is now almost ridiculously easy. Now, we have a couple of Fire Rain Scrolls, and I really want to use one, but... But, 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 we can also use an Ice Wave scroll. Since, why not? I mean, it's an Ice Wave, right? So, we can use an Ice Wave scroll and then pop some Destroy Undead scrolls, right? Uh, what's the Destroy Undead one? Oops. I I, uh, I forgot what the <laughs> I forgot what the 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 button for this. I think it was ten. Yeah. Another thing that kind of annoys me in Gothic games is that you oh, okay. It was ten. Okay. Each time you pop a light scroll, if you load and save the game, it just goes away. Kind of annoying, but okay. Okay. Let's uh let's uh try to kill this uh, skeleton maid. And the skeleton as well. Okay. okay. Can we actually kill this? That's actually quite a lot of skeleton. Way too many skeletons. So I think I'm gonna do this the following way. Uh, quickly pop an ice wave. Quickly pop uh, a golem. So. Let's uh, let's be smart about this. So let's see what spells would, do we actually need in this fight. So ice wave is five. Destroy undead will be six. Awaken golem will be seven. And by the way, I bought these spell scrolls simply because I find them very fun. And um, can we actually see through this door? We can actually see some zombies through this door. And I am curious if we can actually pop some wind fists through the door. So let's try. Let's see what happens. Any damage? I really have no idea if it did any damage or not. We're gonna get some fire nettles to recover our mana because we have a lot of plants and I really want to get rid of them. We also have enough plants to make a couple of strength potions. So our strength is gonna be 88 after this one. Okay. So let's, uh, when fist doesn't work. Good to know. So plan is... Light, Ice Wave, Destroy Under... Uh, no, Light, Ice Wave... Some Golem... Have fun, my dude! Okay... Now, uh, let's uh, try to kill these skeletons as fast as possible. Okay, sorry about that. This skeleton is obviously the bigger threat. Come on, I just need one good hit in. Well, actually, more than one just to hit in. Okay. Okay, that was a lot of healing points we just used, but I think it was actually worth it in the end. So what do we have in the distance? We have... We can use some blue elders. 
How many? Wow, we used up a lot of healing potions in that fight. But I think it was totally worth it because we're close to leveling up again, right? So overall... Okay, so let's see how much damage... Actually, we should heal up. Let's, uh... Let's not hurry. So we see zombie in the distance. And I think all that remains is a couple of zombies in these tunnels. So we're pretty much done. But just in case, let's see. Let's uh, try to pull him from a distance with a fire arrow. Okay. We successfully did it. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Because I don't want to over aggro enemies at this point. Even a couple of skeletons are incredibly difficult to beat at our level. Any more enemies in distance? No. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a golem that did his job quite well. Chest here. Okay, and... I think all that's left is a couple of um, zombies. Nothing there. Might not be anything left, actually. Meadow knotweed, stone tablet. Let's see. Yep, we're gonna soon make our way to Onar's farm. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see. Any Anybody? Okay. See one zombie over there. Is it just one or several zombies? Just seems one, right? Okay. You can actually see just how weak a fire arrow is. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, up here, anything else? Yeah, this part of the cave, I have no idea why they put nothing in this part of the cave. No loot, no anything, it's just a dead end. And in this part of the cave, there's another chest. So, that's pretty much, that's the entire cave right here. So, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right. Oh. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay. It's overly complicated combination, if you ask me, for what basically amounts to very crappy loot. So, we're... 3,000 experience points short of leveling up again. So yeah, my math was actually pretty good. So we can actually learn uh, how to read the final stone tablets. We have enough learning points to become a fire mage. And in chapter 2, we're going to invest the rest of our learning points into... I want to become a master swordsman, so I really want to get to 100 and 200 swords. Okay. okay, some gold and crossbow bolts. It's a really good thing there are no undead archers in Gothic 2 because they would actually be pretty scary. Well, we do have skeleton mages though, right? So, anything else? One last chest to loot here. And a potion, thank you. So, yeah. All we had to do was find the right spell combination, because I really didn't, didn't want to waste a Fire Rain spell on that fight. You can, but I want I want to save them for Chapter 2. There are a couple of locations I want to use them. And they are extremely valuable and expensive, so you have to keep that in mind as well. So let's uh, pop another Light spell. So anything else left to loot in the city. I do not think so. I think we might have missed one meadow knotweed somewhere around here. And that's it. That's literally all. We have explored the entirety of Corinth, guys. Minus one small area we are going to explore when we become a fire mage. So that's about it. Uh, let's go to Onar's farm, shall we? Okay, let's start Cord. Hey, you! I went to see Dexter. And? Dexter is dead. There was no trace up there of your buddy Patrick. Dexter remembered him, but he said it had been ages since he'd seen him. And you're sure that Dexter didn't lie to you? No, I'm not. 
But this is all I can tell you. I don't get it. He seemed to have vanished off the face of the Earth. Well, you've kept your side of the bargain. What about Torlov's test now? Don't worry, you can go back to Torlov. Your task is fulfilled and you've passed the test. I told you I would take care of it. Thank you. Okay. So, we're pretty much gonna go to Torlov. And, uh, let's see, we have drive away the militia, we're gonna complete that. But we're not gonna become a mercenary just yet. Just wanna turn in the quest and that's about it. And where is Torlov? Is he upstairs? Nope. He's downstairs. Uh, he's not downstairs, sorry. Torlov, my boy! Save the game! How's my reputation among the mercenaries? Let's see. Wolf says he has nothing against you joining. Jarvis thinks you're a court. Yes, yes, yes. Cypher says you seem. Sentenza won't vote. Buster says and Dar says you're up. The rest of the merch. You convinced most of them by passing the test. Even if Cord had a little hand in it, you have my vote in any case. And you won some fair duels. A lot of mercenaries respect that. Most of the mercenaries are for you. As far as we're concerned, you can start with us at any time. Go to Lee. He'll explain everything else to you. Okay, thank you. So we're not a mercenary just yet. That, that's the important uh, thing. So drive away the militia. Okay. We have completed that part. We're not gonna... The way to become a mercenary right now is simply... We're gonna save the game right here. So before a mercenary... We're not gonna become one, but I just wanna have some hard saves in case in the future maybe I wanna do a replay through as a mercenary. So we're gonna go to Bengar's farm right now. Okay, we are at Bengar's farm, so let's talk to him again. The militia are gone, and Balthazar can use your land again. Why? Because I said so. Hmm, alright, whatever you say. Let him find a place for his beast somewhere behind the field. Take care. You too. Okay, so we have now completed drive away the militia, and we're gonna go to Sekop's farm and give Balthazar the good news. So, turn on the page again, my boys. Okay, we are at Balthazar, so let's give the guy the good news. You can bring your sheep back to Bengar's pastures. I've talked to him. Thank you. I'll be right on my way. Here, take these sheep skins as a token of my appreciation. Thank you. And this is a very cute moment in the game I've always loved. You can see the sheep are adoringly following him and skipping merrily after him. It's actually pretty, pretty cute. He actually said it well. Uh, loyal beasts, if you take care of them. Okay, so we've pretty much uh, we're pretty much done with most of the quests. Uh, we're gonna go to Daron, to the city of Corinus, right now. Let's uh, get Daron out of the house. Daron, the lazy bones. Yeah, get out! Wait a minute. Smart kid. I found your statuette. I found your statuette. Praise be to Inos. What will you do with it now? Nothing at all. It brought me nothing but bad luck. You'll take it back to the monastery for me, my son. Uh, naturally, they won't let you in unless you dedicate the rest of your life to serving the monastery. But I'm sure you won't mind doing that if it means you can be of service to me. <laughs> right? Go with Inos, my son. Yeah, you're a you're a wonderful guy, Daron. What can I say? So we're gonna um, we're probably gonna spend the night in the hotel, and in the morning we're gonna make our way towards the monastery of Enos. So that's the plan right now. So let's do a quick turn of the page to the morning, shall we? Okay, so it's not only a new day; it's actually several new days later. Specifically off-screen, I literally spent 10,000 gold pieces and 100 in-game days, so it's day 149, to get exactly almost 300 maximum hit points for a maximum of current 770, 
by just donating gold at the statues of Inos. So for every 100 gold pieces, you get plus three to your maximum hit points. So I basically did that off screen. Now, this little section of the map where I've um, intentionally neglected so far, it's mostly a section that has a few starting uh, starter enemies like scavengers and giant rats and so on. I cleared it off screen because they are not interesting fights. The only interesting things in this area is this guy, Isgaroth, and there's an old stone tablet near him. Okay. Enos be with you. What can I do for you, Wanderer? Would be risky to steal his purse. May Enos watch over. Let's uh, let's make an attempt, shall we? Okay. Where will this path take me? The path leads to the monastery of the magicians of fire. However, access is permitted only to the servants of Inas. If you want to be accepted as a novice in the monastery, you must bring a sheep and a thousand gold pieces. What are you doing here? I am a magician of fire, a priest of our god, Inos. This shrine is consecrated to him, the highest god, the creator of the fire and lord of justice. People come to me in order to pray to Inos and be blessed. And for a small donation, you can get many useful things from me. Bless me. I bless you in the name of Inos. May the Lord's fire burn in your heart and give you the strength to act according to his justice. Show me your wares. So this guy basically is an optional guy you can go to if you want um if you want a fire magician's blessing. May Inos watch over you always. You have the option to get blessed by Daran the Fire Magician in Corinth or this guy when you want to complete Forbin's quest to get uh, the blessing of a fire mage and the water mage. So Isgaroth is basically uh, an alternative that doesn't ask you for gold. He's free. Now this path over here leads us to the Monastery of the Fire Magicians and you can actually hear how the soundtrack is changing. Now, a few fire nettles are growing on both sides of the bridge. So, on this side and that side. Okay. So, we're gonna check both sides of the bridge. Okie dokie. And we are gonna um, make our way to the monastery to fire magicians. We are gonna be greeted by Pedro who is guarding the entrance but before we actually talk to him I seem to recall there were some additional fire nettles somewhere down here I think maybe or was it I think it might have been on the other side of the bridge let's just double check so we don't have to check twice and uh, as lovely as this lake looks it does look a bit stagnant though, doesn't it? I mean, the smell would be pretty unbearable, wouldn't it? Then again, this is technically uh, an enchanted so-called monastery, so maybe, I don't know, they have spells to ward off um, bad smells. I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's just an observation when, you know, when you do map design and uh, building design. Let's talk to Pedro. Welcome to the Monastery of Inos, stranger. I am Brother Pedro, a humble servant of Inos and the warder of the gate to the Holy Monastery. What is it you require? Uh, tell me about life. Tell me about life in the monastery. We live in the monastery in order to serve Inos. We novices perform the work and study the scriptures when we have the opportunity. The magicians watch over us and they explore the arts of magic. Mm -hmm. I want to enter the monastery. Only the servants of Inos are allowed to enter the monastery. 
If you want to pray to Inos, go find one of the roadside shrines. You will find the tranquility to pray there. What do I have to do to be accepted in the monastery? If you want to be accepted into the Brotherhood of Inos, you must learn and obey the rules of the monastery. Also, we demand the gifts to Inos from each new novice, a sheep and 1,000 gold pieces. Now that's a whole lot of gold. It is a sign that you are beginning a new life as a servant of Inos. When you are accepted, you will be forgiven all your previous transgressions. And consider, you cannot take back the decision to become a servant of Inos. So it's basically like buying indulgences in the Middle Ages. You give a lot of money to the church, so they forgive your sins. Pretty realistic. What are the rules you live by? Inos is the god of truth and justice, and thus we may never lie or commit a crime. Mm -hmm. Should you transgress against a brother of the community or steal our property, you will pay a penalty for it. Inos is also the god of law and fire. As a novice, you must show obedience and respect to all magicians of fire. I see. Furthermore, it is the duty of a novice to carry out all the work in the monastery for the good of the community. If you are prepared to follow these rules and have the offering to Inos, we are willing to accept you into our monastery as a novice. Uh -huh. I want to become a novice. You did not bring the required offering with you. Okay. So, before we become a novice, I just want to do one quick thing while it's still dusk. We're going to go and talk to Skip for a second. Then we're gonna go back to Pedro and probably end the episode there. And in the next episode, we are gonna become a um, novice of Inos. So let's quickly go to Skip. Hey, Skippy. Where did you take? I already took. Do you know anyone with an eye patch? I know plenty of men with eye patches. There's someone roaming the land of Corinus who seems to know you rather well. Can't imagine who. I have no dealings with landlubbers. But... Leave it be. I'm really not interested. We I already... So it's pretty funny that we cannot tell him that we ran into Greg. We can't tell Greg that we ran into Skip. So, yeah. It's a broken telephone, basically. So, I think we can end the episode right here. So I want to wish you guys a wonderful day, as always. And gonna see each other in the next episode when we are gonna become a uh, novice of Enos. And we will not be a novice for long. It's actually gonna be a very, very short period of being a novice. Maybe one day, like one episode or maybe two at max. Then we are gonna become a fire magician pretty quickly. So, as always guys, remember the most important story in life is your own. Cheers and take care of yourselves.